Hi, I'm Mike from Poketips, and ever since E3, the biggest gaming convention in the world, Pokemon and Game Freak have been on an interviewing spree, where they've sat down with many different people, revealing some new details about the upcoming games Pokemon Sword and Shield. One of the most interesting interviews they've done in the past few days is with the popular Japanese website and magazine, Famitsu. Now, through the use of translation tools, because unfortunately I can't speak or read Japanese, I was able to read through an English translation of this interview. Most of it was stuff that we've already heard before, however, there was one very interesting part that I want to share with you guys. This interview is between somebody on the Famitsu team and between Jinichi Misuda, the producer of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, I'm going to be paraphrasing parts of this interview because since I used a translating tool to translate it from Japanese to English, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but it'll pretty much get the message through. The interviewer started off by basically asking Masuda about the whole National Dex issue. They said, on the development side, I think it's a very big decision, but please give us some remarks on the process and your feelings for narrowing down the Pokemon brought to Sword and Shield. In response, Masuda said, Having moved to the Nintendo Switch, it became possible to draw Pokemon with more beautiful graphics and liveliness. But on the other hand, it took more time to develop than before. On the other hand, the total number of Pokemon has exceeded 1,000, including new Pokemon and the form change of existing Pokemon. As a result, it has become extremely difficult to make Pokemon with the new personality play an active part and to balance the compatibility in addition to making the graphics quality adapt to the changes in hardware and also terms of battle. That is the reason for this decision, and we have decided that it is difficult to make all Pokemon appear in future works. Later on, when the interviewer asked about adding Pokemon in future updates, Masuda responded saying, Future updates, etc. are undecided. However, even if it cannot be made to appear in Pokemon Sword and Shield, we intend to play an active role in the future titles through Pokemon Home. It also says at the end, I will never do anything wrong, which I don't know, that might be a weird translation. Because between you and me, this whole decision is kind of wrong, but just saying. So yeah, that interview didn't really tell us anything we didn't know about the whole National Deck situation. It's still up in the air right now if they're going to change it or not. But what we did learn, the interesting thing here, is that Masuda said in Sword and Shield, the total number of Pokemon, with forms included, is going to be over 1,000. Now, that's pretty exciting, to be honest. A thousand Pokemon. But when we really break down the wording of that, it might not be as many new Pokemon as we think. As of right now, now, not including any of the new Pokemon that we've seen already from these new games, there's 809 different Pokemon. If you include all the Alola forms, which I believe there are 18 of, then that brings us up to 827. But now if we want to get fancy and include the Mega Evolutions, that brings us up to 875 Pokemon. Now personally, when Masuda said this statement, I believe that those are the numbers that he's taking into account. Because if you want to get very, very technical with all the forms, we're already way past a thousand Pokemon. Because keep in mind we have the Deoxys forms, the Vivalon forms, all the unknowns, Burmese form changes, and let's not even get started on all the different Spinda designs. We're easily over a thousand Pokemon. But again, personally, when Masuda says that, I'm thinking he just means including Alola forms and Mega forms. So that brings us up to 875 Pokemon, so that means we have 125 potential new Pokemon slots at least to fill up in Sword and Shield. Now, there has been a trend lately where the newer games introduce less Pokemon. Pokemon X and Y, I think, only introduced like 69 Pokemon. Pokemon Sun and Moon only introduced 62 and then had some new ones added later on. So I'm assuming Sword and Shield will do something very similar and introduce maybe only 60 to 80 Pokemon, but have lots and lots of new forms as well to bring that number up pretty high. Some of the new Pokemon he could be talking about are those Gigantamaxing Pokemon, which haven't officially been revealed yet, but comes from the very accurate Pokemon Sword and Shield leak that just keeps getting proved more and more true by the day. We know that Gigantamaxing is going to be very similar to Dynamaxing, although it's going to change how the Pokemon looks, which could be some of these new forms that Masuda is talking about. All in all, only time will tell, but it's pretty cool knowing that Pokemon Sword and Shield are going to officially bring us past a thousand Pokemon, including forms. So in the comment section below, I want you to tell me how many new Pokemon you think are going to be in Sword and Shield. Let's check that back later after the games come out and see if you're right. 
As always, my friends, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time.